Hey guys, this is Aegis, and I'm here with games from the Collegiate Star League. CSL Season 5 has begun, and this is Game 1 between the military, U.S. Military Academy at West Point, more commonly known as just plain West Point, and George Washington University. George Washington University is fielding no eggs. Our Terran player over here, the Red Terran player, and his opponent is going to be Jaywalk. Um, going to be breaking the law here as the purple Zerg player from West Point. This is MLG Antigua Shipyards. We'll see how these players fare in these cross positions. Of course, um, on the MLG version of this map, you are forced into uh, these cross map positions, which is great for a Zerg player if the Terran player does any sort of expanding, he can easily go ahead and take three bases pretty quickly and be able to macro off of those bases. We'll see our, how our Terran player decides to handle the situation. There is a barracks now coming up for no eggs, and our Zerg player has sent out his scouting drone. We'll be checking this location. Looks like neither player knows that uh, this map actually forces you into the cross map positions, but just so you guys know, in the future, when you play on MLG Antigua Shipyards, all you see is cross-spawn positions. There's no such thing as close uh, by ground or... This can't really be seen as close as ground. I guess close by air from the third. So you can't spawn in these uh, positions just because the air harassment is just way too annoying. Uh, spawning pool now on the way for Jaywalk. It looks like uh, he did decide to go gas pool first. We should be seeing a hatchery shortly to be able to bolster that Zerg economy. And hopefully I st don't sound uh, too sick anymore. It looks like the drone will get caught over here and it will escape. Nice micro there by uh, Jaywalk, but it looks like the Marine just pops out just in time to kill it off before it hits the refinery. So it looks like we have a tech lab getting started. So we may be seeing some sort of Reaper expand as he's only got one gas mining. So on the other side, New Eggs uh, now getting his queen out. So this is really safe right now. He's getting the speed. Uh, he's not gone for that hatchery anytime soon. So he's going to be able to get it probably around the 21 food mark, 22 food mark. We'll see what he decides to do over here. Our Terran player has walled in his front. He's got his marine behind the wall. And sure enough, our Reaper is on the way. Hatch gets started by Jaywalk. 21 food hatch. So we do have the Reaper now. Uh, popping out, we'll be able to scout about and see exactly what our Zerg player is doing. Gives him a good idea of what he can and cannot do in the near uh, seconds here. If he decides to go for a command center, uh, we'll, pro we'll probably see that Reaper expand. Um, unless he sees something interesting, there's the uh, command center coming down for our Terran player. So there it is. And our Zerg player does have his hatchery at half and a second queen is on the way. We'll begin to be able to spread that creep. So this is from Division East Echo Division. Uh, there are a lot of other matches that I will be posting. Of course, uh, go to the cstarleague.com to check out all of the matches that will ha be happening each week. Four drones popping out for Jaywalk right now. So a nice macro there. And he's also sending his Overlord in here at the 5 minute and 30 second mark to see exactly what's going on. A Marine will be rallied over to take care of it. But it will get a full scout in here. It sees the factory. It sees the command center as well. And of course a huge shout out to the sponsors of... Uh, the Collegiate Star League, TT Esports, and of course Twitch TV for sponsoring the uh, prizes uh, this season, whatever they are. I'm not too sure what they are. Um, maybe there's a post on the C Star League website uh, about it. Looks like Jaywalk has been supply blocked for a short amount of time, so he's got a lot of, lot of larva building up. That's not a position you want to be in as a Zerg player. He's also started a spine crawler. Um, I don't agree with this, especially with what he actually just saw. He saw a command center. There's not really a, much of a chance of any harassment for at least two or three minutes because he's got to wait for Hellions to pop out. Hellions do take 30 seconds to build each. And he's also waiting for the Infernal Preigniter, so he could have started this uh, Spinecrawler a lot later and gotten 
some minerals mining with that drone during these uh, one, one and a half minutes. Jaywalk beginning the upgrades for the late game. Uh, still making those drones, going to be able to drone up massively and get a massive economy. He's got a queen over here kind of hanging out. Uh, she's got to get back to work. She's got plenty of creep tumors to lay. We've got a uh, the command center now morphing into an orbital command. We also have the infernal pre-igniter finishing up. That will allow him to do some damage shortly. He's also got a couple of marauders, so I imagine we might see... Uh, a pretty nice timing here with the Marauders and the Hellions going to be able to do some damage to Hellions taking care of some Zerglings and the Marauders being able to take down a couple of these Queens uh, maybe even take down a Hatchery we'll see what he decides to do that's a lot of Marauders for this early in the game he's also got the stim pack so those Marauders are going to be able to take, take down buildings really quickly and this is exactly the push that I was talking about just a few seconds ago. Five Marauders, there's uh, four Hellions out in the field. Siege tech has been started so by all means this is headed towards the late game. Two additional barracks on the way. Engineering Bay is also completed. The Hellions are headed in here now. Looks like there are only four Zerglings over here going to be roasting a couple of those Creep Tumors as well. Jaywalk does have plenty of energy to be able to continue throwing those Coop Tumors down. The Marauders now headed in here. There are no Zerglings in sight. Stimpak going down as well, targeting down those Queens. The queens are falling so quickly. The Hellions also roasting away a ton of those drones. Oh no, all those drones are lined up. Workers killed already three. The workers are now running away. Additional workers getting killed off over here. The Marauders working at the natural expansion. 20 workers killed already by no eggs. He is so far ahead. 55 food to the 26 food of Jaywalk. I wouldn't be surprised to see a GG right away. The Zerglings now popping out. We'll be able to clean up these Marauders. A stim pack going down once again. It looks like those Marauders have been weakened, but they did take down the hatchery. Oh no. That is such a huge loss for Jaywalk. He's going to have such a hard time getting back into this. He's got the drones on the way. And our Terran player can actually easily push real soon. He's got three barracks as well as a factory. He's even started a third command center. Oh, insult to injury. Uh, Starport has been started as well. Two refineries as well as an additional factory. A couple of those Zerglings running into the natural expansion. We'll be able to pick off a couple of those SCVs, but it's just not quite enough. The Simpack going down on the Marines will be able to clean up these Zerglings or at least force them out of here. And the expansion uh, uh, hatchery at the natural expansion has been restarted by Jaywalk, so it looks like uh, our Terran player is actually intent on sitting back for a while. He's got two bunkers coming up, so I'm going to speed this up to see exactly what happens later in this game. Maybe go go to 4x. We've got this uh, command center. Because I just can't see how our Zerg player may be able to win this. We've got the spine crawlers coming up to the front. We'll be able to help defend against any sort of pressure that may come up. Our Terran player now rising up to 73 food. 33 food for Jaywalk. He's got those mutas now on the way. He does have the spire completed. Seven mutas going to be popping out right now. We'll see if he's able to do some damage here. Let's slow this down once again. The mutas now being rallied to the bottom of this map. They will be headed in here. There are missile turrets at the ready. Uh, covering most of a Noeg's base, so this is uh, really troublesome for a Zerg player. He will be able to pick off a couple of uh, add-ons over here. The Marines getting over here as well. The Simpack going down. Medivacs at the ready to be able to heal those guys up. Looks like the reactor doesn't even go down. Additional missile turrets are now on the way. Banling's Nest has been started. This is still a horrible position for our Zerg player to be in, now finally taking a third base when our Terran player has long been mining from his third. A push into the center by no eggs. He's got four sea shanks to be able to take care of those Zerglings as well as a ton of those Stim, Mar Stim Marines along with those Medivacs. will be able to clean up a lot of Zerg units very quickly. Scan going down, seeing the third base. will be running in there to force a cancel. We'll see if the cancel does go down or if the hatchery it does happen. So he didn't lose all of those minerals. He's going to be producing 11 Banelings right now. He's trying to hold this off as well as 28 Zerglings 
And we have the push over here from our uh, Zerg player. He's going to be running in here. All of the Zerglings getting rained down by those Sea Shanks. A lot of those units falling. No eggs now nearing max food at 162 Jaywalks. Still at 102. A ton of Banelings being morphed. He's going to have to bank on those Banelings being able to hold it this off. So he can possibly try to take a gold base to get back into this. I really can't see how else he'll be able to do this as Noegs is taking his gold base as well. And here comes the slow push forward from Noegs. Going to be securing this position over here. Being as safe as possible. Wanting to take it for his team, George Washington University. And uh, Jaywalk is actually getting more and more contained over here. This is a really wide ramp, but as the Sea Shanks be able to rain down the fire on that ramp, it's going to be really difficult for Jaywalk to be able to push out here, regardless of how many forces that he does actually have. And a, a little bit of an engagement over there. No eggs throwing down three starports, and they're all finished right now. We'll see what he decides to do. Uh, with those starports and here comes the push forward all of banelings going to be able to take out those sea shanks but marines and sea shanks still survive and will continue to be able to push up here looks like terran infantry weapons level three on the way as well as those terran vehicle weapons level three on the way queen getting in on the action a single mutilisk out a couple of sea shanks out of position over here by no eggs but he's still up at 138 food uh, he's got the gold base of mining. He's got tons of money in the bank. He's got a ton of star ports with tech labs going down. So uh, this is... <laughs> I don't see our Zerg player coming back from this. He's got contained over here. The Sea Shanks are in... I guess not in position, but that's still okay as there are no Zerg units out in the field right now and the Sim going down will be able to take out this hatch over here. The Medivac's doing a great job of healing everything up. The hatch goes down with the Queen inside. Zergling's gonna be running in here as well. Zamuda's gonna be able to clean this up uh, until the Marines run back and resupport. We've got four Banshees and two Vikings on the way. Uh, and it looks like we also have a... Uh, Fusion core. So he's going to be going for battle cruisers in just a moment. He's got plenty of money for this, so no eggs. Making sure to spend as much money as possible. He's got the barracks coming up. Uh, all the banshees popping out. A couple of zerglings getting taken out. Jaywalk here is still looking pretty bad. And uh, he's gotten not much. I'm really surprised he hasn't GG'd as of this point. I guess never surrender, never give up as Day9 always has. Uh, we've got a couple of Marines over here. We'll be able to take out that Queen and the Marines stimming and running in here. The Muta's going to be sacrificing themselves to the Terran infantry. And GG from our West Point player. And this first game goes to George Washington Univers University. We are going to be spawning on Test Bug in just a second. For game two between West Point and George Washington University.